train wreck. Obamacare begins to unravel. Massive government boondoggle set to self-destruct by 2015. This by the health ranger Mike Adams. The White House announced last week it will simply invent its own interpretation of the law and delay the enforcement of employer and Obamacare mandate for another year to 2015. In reality, the entire private sector economy is preparing to fire tens of millions of workers, cut their hours, and radically downsize companies in order to avoid going bankrupt under the Obamacare mandates that no one can afford. We'll scroll down a little bit. U.S. Business, businesses, meanwhile, are engaged in the new wave of job offshoring in India, Pakistan, and the Philippines. So, you know, we saw this uh, when we had the Gibson guitar people on. You guys remember that situation? The Gibson got, guitar got raided for having these exotic woods or whatever, which were perfectly legal. And Alex has them on the show, and the guy says, yeah, they're telling us if we want to stay in business, we need to move our, uh, move our production offshore. And Alex says, hold on, you're telling me that somebody from the government told you that if you want to stay in business, you need to have your, your company offshore. And the guy says, yeah. And that's exactly what they're doing here. They don't want businesses in this country as much as they try to spin it. And you say, well, why would they want to do that? It's America destroyed by design. These people know what they're doing. It's problem, action, solution. Just like this Obamacare stuff, Mike Adams points out in the report that this was supposed to be free health care and supposed to be affordable health care. But we see it's just the opposite because people are going to be laid off and the people who are lucky enough to keep their jobs are going to have their hours slashed so their employers don't have to pay them, you know, health care or whatever other benefits. So instead of working one full-time job or, you know, a full-time job and a part-time job, you can be have people working three or four part-time jobs and still have no health care. And, you know, but people, oh, well, you're supposed to get free health care and health care for homeless people. It's not, a, it's not free health care. It's not affordable health care. Nothing is free. Just keep in mind, anything made by man is not free. It's a corrupt uh, system that's supposed to move our jobs offshore, or if the jobs that do stay here in the states are going to have their hours uh, slashed and their pay slashed, health benefits pretty much non-existent. So great article from Mike Adams. Now we're going to end with this. World leaders denounce Monsanto execs winning world food prize. That, that's right. Monsanto won a world food prize. It's like Alex is talking about on the show. Like we should really do that skit where we just hand out awards to each other. You know, I go give Darren McBreen an award, and he gives one to Leanne, and she gives one to Christy. We should just give each other awards, because that's exactly what's going on. Let's go take a look at the article. Last month, Monsanto executive Robert Farley received the World Food Prize, the highest esteemed prize considered among many to be the Nobel Prize of Food. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at infowars.com forward slash show.